Hey everyone, welcome back to SFDC Ninja and today I am back with another Apex Trigger scenario. This scenario is also given by one of my subscriber and he faced this scenario in Entity Data Interview. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. Let's first understand the data model for today's scenario. So today we are going to use two objects, account and contact. On account object, we have a field number of contacts which is of number type. So this is the data model. Now let's understand the scenario. In today's scenario, on insertion of an account record, we need to create number of related contacts based on the number entered by the user in number of contacts field. Let me explain it again in a simple language. Let's say user is creating an account and he enters 5 in number of contacts field. Now when user insert that account record by clicking on save button, then 5 related contacts should get created. Let's say now if user enters 7 while inserting an account, then 7 contacts should get inserted. Till here whatever I explained, it was asked in interview. But we can also add some more things in it. Like if user enters any value or number which is greater than 10, then an error should come. Error like maximum number of contacts allowed for an account is 10. So this is what we are going to do today. Now it's time to code. So let's switch to VS code and create our handler class. Let's name it trigger handler. Let's create our method public static void trg method. Now, guys, see it is obvious that a trigger will be on account object. So, what we will do? We will pass a list of account in our method as parameter like this. Let's say new ACC list. And in this parameter, we will pass trigger.new from our trigger. So this list is equal to trigger.new. Let's apply a null check on this list. Put its name, paste it here, is empty, and iterate over it. Now we want that our code will get executed only if user enters some value in number of context field. So for that, let's apply a check like this. ACC dot number of contacts is not null. Now we have to create multiple contact records based on the value of number of context field. For example, if number of contacts value is 5, then 5 contacts should get created on account which is being inserted. So for this thing, what we will do, we will simply initialize a for loop like this for integer and this loop will iterate from 1 to the value of the number of context field. So it will start from 1 number of contacts. And inside this for loop, we will create contact records. So let's create new contact let's provide first name provide last name also contact and let's link contact record to account like this now we will not perform DML inside for loop because it is not a good practice. So let's create a list to store contact records. Let's say list to insert con new list contact. Copy this list name, paste it here and add contact records in it. Copy its name. And here apply a null check on it and finally insert it. Now our first task is done. Our next task is to show error if user enters a value greater than 10. I mean if user try to create more than 10 contacts then in that case we need to show error. So for that in this if condition we will add another check that if value of this field is less than or equal to 10 like this number of contacts 10. 
so the code inside this if condition will be executed if the value of this field is not null and less than or equal to 10 and for value greater than 10 we will simply use else like this and inside this else we will show error message dot add error maximum number of contacts allowed for this account is 10 so we have our handler class ready save it and deploy it to work we are getting error okay i forgot to use class deploy it again i think there is some problem with this class okay so we have created a new class i am not sure why we are getting error save it and deploy it to work yeah now it is successfully deployed now let's create our trigger let's name it ACC trigger our trigger will be on account object so let's write account and we are inserting related contacts that's why we have to use after event now we will apply a check to call our handler class method only for after insert event like this is after and trigger dot is insert copy the handler class name paste it here trg method and pass trigger dot new save it and deploy it to work it is successfully deployed so we have our code ready it's time to see it in action so let's go to our org and here let's create a new account let's say test account one and here in this field let's provide a value first let's try to provide value greater than 10 let's say 11 see we are getting error that maximum number of contacts allowed for this account is 10 which means a trigger is working fine uh, let's provide a value less than 10 Click on save. And here as you can see that 9 contacts have been created. So that's it for today guys. If you have any trigger scenario then please comment. Thank you and keep watching.